The Heartbreak Kid is a 1972 romantic comedy film directed by Elaine May and written by Neil Simon. The film stars Charles Grodin along with Sybil Shepard, Jeannie Berlin, Audra Lindley, Eddie Albert, and Doris Roberts. It is based on the short story, A Change of Plan, written by Bruce J. Friedman, and first published in Esquire magazine in 1966. At the 45th Academy Awards, Jeannie Berlin was nominated for Best Supporting Actress and Eddie Albert for Best Supporting Actor. It was ranked number 91 on AFI's 100 Years, 100 Laughs, a list of the funniest American movies ever made, and was remade in 2007 with Ben Stiller and Malin Ackerman. In New York City, after a very short courtship, emotionally shallow, self-absorbed Lenny Cantro, played by Charles Grodin, a sporting goods salesman, is married to Lila, played by Jeannie Berlin, daughter of director Elaine May, an unsophisticated and emotionally needy young girl. During their honeymoon in Miami Beach, Lenny meets and pursues the beautiful but shallow Kelly Corcoran, played by Sybil Shepard, a Midwestern college girl on holiday with her wealthy parents. When Lila is severely sunburned, Lenny quarantines her to their hotel room as he engages in a series of rendezvous with Kelly, lying to Lila about his whereabouts. Lenny impulsively ends his marriage to pursue an indifferent Kelly, explaining that she is the girl he has been waiting for all of his life and just timed it wrong. After leaving Lila after only five days of marriage, he follows Kelly to Minnesota, where her resentful and protective father, played by Eddie Albert, stands in his way. Following an awkward dinner, where Lenny and Ainley praises Midwestern produce as having no deceit, Mr. Cochran offers Lenny a $25,000 bribe to leave. Lenny angrily refuses and soon marries Kelly, but at the reception, his attempt to mingle with the attendees by a mindless conversation fails, and he is ignored by the guests, his bride, and new in-laws. He is soon reduced to quoting cliches to two uncomprehending children, and is soon left alone, humming to himself while the party continues around him. The final moments of the film depict Lenny failing to communicate with Kelly's Gentile family. It highlights how he gave up his personal cultural traditions and how he misses them. Having walked down the aisle to Kelly as a large crucifix hung overhead, Lenny sits on the couch by himself, swimming in a sea of Christianity, listless and alienated as ever. So check out this funny comedy classic on DVD, Blu-ray, or streaming, and I'll see you in the next exciting video.